Hi, I'm Bob Gershick. I'm from Wildlife Acoustics of Maynard, Massachusetts, and we're here today to talk about the Echometer Touch Bat Detector, Recorder, and Analyzer. The Echometer Touch is a compact device. It's iOS powered, and that allows teachers and students to take the device and plug it into an iPad or iPhone, and they can literally turn the device into a bat detector and analyzer. So bats, at least most bats in North America, uh, echolocate to navigate at night and to catch insect prey. And these echolocations are basically uh, little whistles at really high frequencies that we can't hear. Um, they have to be high frequencies because they need to have a tiny little wavelength that will bounce off these little insects. So what the system, the Echometer Touch system does, is it uses an ultrasonic transducer to pick up these tiny signals and digitize them and then stream them to an iPad or an iPhone and then we can do some really cool and powerful things. Uh, for example, we can translate the sound to frequencies that a human can hear. Uh, so you can actually in real time um, be holding the device and bats are flying by and you're actually hearing their echolocations as they're hunting for insects. Uh, we can also record the sounds so you can look at them later um, in the classroom or in the field. Um, and the coolest thing is we use uh, speech recognition algorithms to actually identify the species of bat. Uh, different species have distinct echolocations, so we can actually use that to tell you what species of bat flew over. And there's dozens of species of bats in the United States, and um, all of these are built into the app. So at about two seconds after the bat flies by, uh, you can get a reading on the actual species of bat. Uh, plug the device into the iPad or iPhone. It knows which app it wants to talk to. It's that one right there. We say allow, and press start, and you're monitoring bats. Okay, so here we actually have a uh, bat signal that I'm playing back. It's a recording we made of a bat that I'm faking with an ultrasonic speaker since we're indoors. And this is actually what an echolocation looks like. Uh, this is called a spectrogram, and it allows you to visualize the bat echolocation. Over here you see frequency, like this, uh, this bat echolocation is actually, if we zoom in a little bit, it's, it's at 40 kilohertz, which is well above human hearing. Maybe your cat can hear this. Um, but this allows you to actually see the signal. So when a bat flies by, you actually see the signal going by. And while it's doing it, it's actually recording the bat. That's what this little symbol here is indicating. You can actually scroll back through the spectrogram. I can press this little bat symbol, and I can say Auto ID. And boom, in about two seconds, it tells me this is an acronym of the scientific name, PESU. Um, that's actually a tricolored bat, which is the bat I'm playing back. And I can save this. And so um, here I am back in real time, and you can see these recordings being made as it goes by. And you also, if I, if I put the mic up to it, maybe, you, you can hear that's the, that's the actual echolocation we're taking and uh, translating it so that um, us humans can hear it. Um, you can also go through, and all of these recordings are being saved on the device. So let's say you went on a bat walk with your students or something. Um, you could go back to the classroom and you go back and look at the recordings you've made. I'm leaving live mode here and going back to a, a previous recording. Um, if I didn't identify the bat at the time, I can come here and I can identify it after the fact. I can leave a, a I can type a note, something I want to remember about this bat walk. Um, so it's kind of archived all of this stuff. And in addition, this is pretty cool. If you have been on a, a bat walk or you sent this home with a student or something and they made the recordings on their deck, you can go and look at the uh, GPS view. So here we are. And these are um, all the species of bats in North America that the app can identify. And for those of you over the large pond um, in the UK, we have also cover most of the species there and we're adding species all the time. Hi, I'm Andrew Walker. I'm executive director of Bat Conservation International. And we're here with Wildlife Acoustics today because we are working with them to bring to market the Echometer Touch, which we think is a substantial uh, advancement in how the public and environmental educators can better appreciate and understand and study bats. Bat Conservation International is the world's largest organization devoted to the conservation of bats. And several years ago, we developed a curriculum aimed primarily at grades four through eight for discovery of bats and how to teach about them in the classroom. And in our partnership with Wildlife Acoustics, they have taken what we've done and, and developed a five-day lesson plan that's aimed primarily at those grades four through eight, but which can be scaled to either elementary school all the way up to high school. We think it's a great, effective way to combine technology with a traditional curriculum 
that uh, will teach kids not only about conservation, biology, and one of the most important animals on the planet, but also about the physics of sound. Uh,